2020 has not been your best year. 2021 has not been your best year. And now 2022 is here. And you are asking, what does 2022 have in store for me? To be frank with you, 2022 has nothing in store for you, but what you have in store for it. Welcome to my channel, everybody. My name is Nyama Marenda, and I welcome you all to 2022, the year of success, year of love, peace and happiness, and prosperity. Pretty brown skin, I see African written in your DNA. Today we are going to talk about the reset, what you can do and how you can do and how you're going to do it. If you are new to this channel, do make sure to comment, like, and subscribe so that you are notified every time we drop a new video on this channel. Have a seat with me and let's talk more. Hmm. Okay. Hi again. Welcome back to my channel. Just after the other clip. All right. So we're going to be touching down on a few things that I believe it might be very important for a reset of 2022. Thing number one you can do to reset is have a calm state of mind. It is very important to have a calm state of mind. Your surrounding should be calm and all other... I don't know why my earring keep doing this. All other parts of your, your well-being should be calm. This is important because it plays a very important role on your mental health. I believe the first thing first that you should check yourself is your mental health. Are you able to do every other task that requires pressure in your life at this moment of 2022? Second thing, are you eating healthy? Are you exercising? Are you drinking enough water? Are you doing enough yogas and meditation? I am a Christian. I love to meditate on the word of God. And uh, I love to pray. I love to sing praise and worship. Those things, they keep my mind still and at peace and help with my mental health. So your mental health is very, very important. Now, once you have your mental health in there, make sure you have enough rest, guys. Enough rest. Rest as much as you can, as much as needed. Your body needs rest. Don't use your body like it's working on electricity or something or like it's a toy. Your body is you. Your body is very important to you. And if you don't take care of yourself, you will eventually find yourself falling apart, breaking before you even reach December. And that is not the goal we want. That is not part of our goal. Our goal is to all reach December. Successful have reached certain milestones that we might have. You have yours, I have mine. And hopefully we can all just get there. Thing number two, have your goals planned out. Now, if you perhaps want to buy a car, for instance, because I know I want to buy a car. <laughs> I know I need them four wheels. <laughs> so if you want to buy a car, um, look at your finances. How are your finances? Are you able to save up? Because buying a car requires saving up. And I really don't advise people to go take a loan that you aren't able to pay for, to pay back. Um, if you're working and you want to take a loan, good for you. Go ahead, but ask yourself, do you really want to take this loan or are you able to save up for certain months that you can be able to at least pay 80% on your own and then the bank can top up 20% for you, if not 100% on your own. Um, <clears throat> anything that you want to buy, you have to look at your finances. Are your finances in good State. Have you been saving up for what you want or are you going to break your bank to get what you want and at the end of the day you um, become broke? I don't know what's going on with my background light. It keeps flickering. So I, I really don't know how to deal with that right now because I'm using natural light. I don't have a ring light. Anyone who wants to send me one, you're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, um... Thing number three is that when you have your plans planned out, your goals planned out, um, strategize. Strategy is very important. Look at how you are going to go around everything that you want to do so that you don't feel 
overwhelmed by what you're doing and frustrated not knowing what you're doing you don't go into a swimming pool let me use my river you don't go into the river swimming without knowing how to swim and not knowing where the depth is and if you can survive it you know um i love to use the fact um one way you can know what your or keep your mind focused on your goals is by having a vision board i have a vision board i've had a vision i had a vision board once in like 2017 if i'm not mistaken i had a vision board and i recently just updated a new vision board this year now vision board the important thing about vision board and why i love them is that they play out what you want in life you are literally putting it down there on paper in in graphic uh, you can do digital you can do on paper i'm sorry there's a fact that there's a fly um you can do it on paper you can do it digitally uh on paper it's like you just take a poster then you take magazines and you cut out what inspires you what you want to achieve in life and you just paste it on there and then on on digital you can uh, use canva the one that i used um i did i used canva get your inspirations from um from pinterest pinterest is really good pinterest has literally almost everything that you could look for um DIYs, you can literally get everything on Pinterest as you can get them on YouTube. But then the only thing is that YouTube is videos and Pinterest is pictures, but now it has developed to videos too. But uh, what we are doing is pictures. Excuse me. Pictures. You have to take pictures and just put it there and um just run around things. A disclaimer. Having a vision board does not mean you have to achieve everything within that year that's the vision that is what you want in life so do that and see how you can go around everything you know you you can target like oh okay i want to make 50k um by august this is january i want to make 50k by august i want to save up 50k so you have to see on your vision board like okay this is the amount I want, but this is the jobs that I want to do. How am I going to go around to get this type of job so that I can save this amount of money? Because I want to buy a car with this 50K. It's as simple as that, but not as simple to do. It all requires strategy. Last but not least, have yourself taken care of. Love yourself. If you want to take this 2022 by the horns, you have to equip yourself get enough good rest i'm going back to point number one get enough good rest eat healthy read books drink enough water be surrounded with positive people that can just inspire you so that at the end of the day when you come to bed you reflect on the good things and not on the bad things and also journaling it's also really great hello and if you have reached this far please do give this video a push let me know and also push this video by sending it through to your friends guys <laughs> yeah guys so th that's the end of this video if there's anything that i left out also make sure to put it down in the box below in in the in the comment section below and uh let's just have a great 2022 and um See you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all the best in 2022. What you have to do for your life, either you're in school, either you're at work, uh, with your side hustles or anything like that. I'll be dropping a video of type of side hustles that you can start in 2022 from home. And uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys and uh, take care of yourself.